My air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, we are doing the full moon rising, I mean, I'm sorry, the full moon reading, sun, moon rising, and Venus signs, okay, wherever it is that air influences your chart, okay, so um, I'm doing things a little different, I'm still going to use pretty much every single um, deck that I usually use for the full moon readings, it's still pretty much love oriented, um, I'm just trying to cut them down to size, okay. So, what's going on for my Air Collective? We have the full moon in Leo. Do not let pride get in the way. And this is our full moon reading for November 30th. The Beaver full moon, okay? Let's see what else. We have the energy is gaining momentum. And we have nothing will come of this situation. So you could be dealing with the Leo. We have very strong Leo influence here. Um, or you could have Leo in your chart. But under the deck, we have your hard work is paying off. Capricorn energy. Uh, the new moon in Capricorn. So it, you could be dealing with the Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. But we're definitely looking at something or trying to look at something that our pride is definitely getting in the way of. Tell me about don't let pride get in the way. Okay, we have soulmate. <laughs> yes, this is your soulmate. It did come out upside down, so this might be the resisting the resisting um, energy we have here. Guys, uh, as far as my air collectives, there's someone battling whether this is a soulmate or not. The energy is gaining momentum. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So you are seeing it kind of coming into fruition, like especially in the present moment. Tell me about nothing will come from this situation. Okay, we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So it came out crossing. So this is the crossing energy that we have right now. So if someone's afraid, or if someone has commitment issues, and you're projecting that on your person, that person is going to project that shit right back at you. So for whatever, like, little um, negative thoughts that are piercing your brain or any negativity that you feel towards your relationship, it's going to progress on your person, and that person's going to progress it back at you. Tell me about soulmate. We have dreams. Vivid dreaming, dream messages, and dream teaching, okay? Some of you could be dreaming of your person. Some of you could have dreamt of your person before you even met them. And then some of you could be dreaming on your pers dreaming about your person constantly. I'm also getting that uh, dream wedding here for some of you. Some, not all. But some of you, could, yeah, some of you guys are really, really dreaming about walking down the aisle with this person. That is so cute. With your person. Ooh. Stay optimistic about your love life. Oop. Falling in love, kissing the divine in another and in yourself. This could be the one. This could be the one. <laughs> Tell me about wedding. Ooh. Stop it. Divine sensuality, making love erotica. You guys are fucking thinking about marrying this person while y'all having sex. You nasty. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> guide. Under the deck you have guide. You're being guided to do this, though. You got, you're manifesting this into life. That's, uh, <laughs> that's cute. Look at you guys. I'm blushing for you. That's so, that's so funny. Okay, <laughs> what's the challenge then? What's going on? What's the problem here <laughs> for the air collectives? Libra, Gemini, okay, and Aquarius. It's the will of fortune, more Leo energy. And the emperor, Aries, Taurus. And then underneath the deck, you have temperance, Sagittarian energy. You know that this will is turning in your direction. This was meant for you. 
all you needed was patience. And there is no, <laughs> I'm, I'm really feeling there is no problem here. I'm hearing there is no problem here, and I also am hearing gets to step in. So if you feel like you got haters on this, on, on your, hating on your relationship, you guys, gets to step in. Compassion. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free and see the light in yourself and others. So if you guys have been having a little bit of problems here and there with your person, you're, you're being called to have compassion for the situation. And strength. Strength is also a Leo card, by the way. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. What is it that you're being called to have strength for? What are you being called to have compassion over? I want to say, yeah, you're being called to have compassion over this will of fortune because you know that you're stepping into your strength here with that emperor card. Okay. We have passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about life and increase your energy levels. Under the deck, you have innocence. Sorry, I'm trying to sit back on my chair. Give me a second. I don't want to fall off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Take time to play, nurture your inner child, and live with the child life sense of wonder. And then you have anger under that. So some of you, um, air signs, um, especially if you have fire in your chart, Aries is in Mars. Watch your anger issues, okay? We all have them. I'm not saying you specifically have anger issues. I'm just saying we, we all do. I've been snappy as hell lately. My Aries, my Venus is in Aries and I, I don't, I just, no patience, nothing. It just, just pops out like nothing. It says attack pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation as merely calls for help. So when your person starts to pull away, be compassionate, have strength that the passion will return because this pulling away is is coming from a place of innocence. This person really is thinking about a, a higher level commitment with you. This person thinks about it while you, this person probably dreams about having sex with you like when you're not together. But this is a very strong soulmate connection. We have through pair Oh, blah, 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 blah. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. When you're at peace, everything around you will become at peace. And then you have, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. And you're being definitely divinely guided at this point. There's a lot of stuff going on here that has to do with... Um, do it well with the temperance energy really with patience and divine and and being divinely guided so yes if you're wondering this is your soulmate if you're dealing with the leo there's a lot of strong leo energy you could have leo in your chart but definitely divine timing at work in your love life my happiness is a direct reflection of the level of faith i have in the universe all right Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, I hope this helped, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.